It's a good idea to back up your quad settings anytime you install a Betaflight update. These updates sometimes wipe everything, so a backup will be your only way to recover your quadcopter to the way it was flying before. Backups can also save you hours of frustration attempting to figure out what setting changes caused unwanted flight behavior. This video will cover the complete backup and recovery process. If you need additional information or want to see screenshots of all the backup screens, check out the written guide on propwash.com. Now for those experienced with Betaflight, you may have noticed backup and restore buttons in the setup tab. Unfortunately, as of releasing this video, these buttons do not work the way you think. While they will reliably back up and restore basic PID settings and a few other features, they won't save important settings such as filters, resource maps, OSD settings, etc. Thus, we need a more reliable way to back up your settings for easy recovery. To do so, we'll use the CLI. The command line interface, or CLI, allows you to type in specific commands for your quadcopter. You can change a ton of features through a few text commands and even screw some things up if you aren't careful. In our case, we're going to stick with a few basic lines that anyone can do. First, go to the CLI tab on Betaflight. Here you'll see a black console window with the Betaflight logo and an entry line for text. The text entry line is where we'll do the majority of our work. After typing a command, press enter to execute it. There are two different backup commands that you can use in Betaflight, diff and dump. For most users, we recommend using diff. If you're interested in the dump style backup, check out the written guide linked in the description. The diff command looks at all of the possible beta flight settings and compares them with the default settings for your flight controller. It'll only print out the settings that have changed to the console. This makes for a nice, small output file that's easy to audit if it comes time to use it for a restore. It's also often much easier to use when you're looking for settings that may be causing trouble. So for most pilots, the steps for backing up your beta flight settings are quite simple. First, go to the CLI tab in Betaflight. Next, type in diff into the text window and press enter to execute. And finally, press save to file to save your backup. We recommend creating a folder somewhere where you can save all of your Betaflight backups. It's a good habit to get into and can make troubleshooting much easier in the future. Restoring your backed up settings is extremely easy. All it takes is some copy and pasting. However, you should understand a few of the caveats of restoring a backup file. Before restoring your file, you should do a quick audit. This will make sure that you don't restore any changes that could cause your quadcopter to not work. Any of the Betaflight backup files can be opened in a standard text editor for review. We do this because you likely don't want to restore every single setting you backed up. For example, if you updated your Betaflight firmware to a new version, changes to the PID algorithm and software filters may mean that it's a good idea to start at the default PID settings and retune your quadcopter. Similarly, the way RC rates work occasionally changes, and you may want to review your own rates. Thus, you wouldn't want to copy these settings into your restore. On the other hand, if you're restoring Betaflight to the exact configuration it was previously working in, you should just do a blanket restore of all settings. Just make sure you're using the same version of Betaflight. The version number can be found at the top of your backup file. So to audit which features you restore, go through the backup file using a text editor. Take a good look at each feature and try to figure out how or why it was changed. If you're unsure of a setting name, a quick Google search can help. If this doesn't work, the safest bet is returning the setting to the default value. As we mentioned, consider removing any changes to the PID or filter settings when doing a restore on a new version of Betaflight. Chances are you're going to need to retune your quadcopter. You might as well start somewhere that worked well for the developers. Once you've decided what settings you want to restore, just paste them directly from the backup file into the CLI text box. You can paste multiple lines at once. Next, hit enter to execute all the commands. Finally, type in save and press enter to apply the settings to your flight controller. This will automatically reboot the flight controller and send you back to the home screen. Browse through the various setup tabs and verify that all your settings were restored and you're all set. Oh, and don't forget to create new backup when you're all finished.